right? When we have these these OBs and these um, emergency room doctors going, oh my gosh, home birth, it is so dangerous. Do you know what a really smart response to say to them is? Why do you have any reason to see any of the good ones? Of course you're gonna see the emergencies. Of course you're gonna think it's scary. All you see is the bad ones. All you see is when things go sideways or a mom needs support. Why would you ever see any of the great home births? They're seeing this disaster and they're not seeing normal physiology. They're not seeing what we see. So don't expect them to come on our level playing field because we get this beautiful gift to be able to see normal physiology play out day in and day out. We have this beautiful opportunity every single day to watch people navigate and live through life, watch people navigate their pregnancies and their birth and say, look what I did. Did you know that pregnant women run the equivalent metabolically of a marathon 40 times in their pregnancy? They looked at the most elite athletes in the world and they found that at most, their metabolism is 2.5 times their normal resting rate. Pregnant women run at 2.2 times their normal rate for 40 weeks. You are running a marathon. How metabolically healthy are you before pregnancy, or do you find out you're pregnant and then go, oh, I need to get healthier? It takes a totally different perspective. It takes a totally different understanding of salutogenesis to be able to get into this world and truly understand from a preventative standpoint what you're doing in the preconception space. Who has to be the first one to change their perspective? You guys, you can't change your practice. You can't go to a seminar and be like, hey, you should do this. It's a fundamental shift in you that has to change first and it'll ripple into your practice. Consider becoming the guide for your practice members and not the hero. Salutogenesis isn't a book that you read and you're like, cool, I know this text now. It is literally a way that you live your life. It is a, an embodiment of a belief system. And you can say you believe it or you don't. Cool, beliefs literally run your physiology because you believe something and you take actions because of your beliefs. What problem can you solve for people? What do you like solving? What do you enjoy solving for people? Because if you can find the problem that you're gonna solve for people, you will never not love what you do.